there is a reason why the Nazis decided to call black people subhuman. So did the American eugenicists and all of Europe, really. Before this video is over, it should be clear to you why that is. The spear is also a phallic symbol. And I'll put many images like nuns acting sexy and females about to be branded. It should make it clear to you that the New World Order is about sex cults. The spear of destiny is key. And all this disinformation you see out there is to avoid people, you know, is to keep people from coming to these conclusions. Or how many white conspiracy theorists, with all due respect, do you think want people to think of things in terms of the African spiritual warrior and spiritual leader? Even people who have some semblance of respect for Martin Luther King are more concerned with competing and survival. They're survivalists. And by confusing you about which martial arts type and why is the top and why is part of how they survive. Okay. I don't agree with it. I think it's wrong. I think people should value the spirit more than the flesh. This is also the difference between the warrior's martial art philosophy and the craftsmen who over time uh, started filling the ranks of being a warrior due to technology. Right? They believe that mind should be the mind of a scientist, the body should be the body of some kind of northern European and the soul should be the idea of a soul and not actually reaching out to God to have one. That's why Psyche is said to be mind and soul and it's a winged female deity. These images prove my point to a T. And when you consider who I am and where I come from, mind, body, soul, and spirit, it is stupid not to think that you would expect the top martial artist to come from Nigeria. Why did the Nazis feel the need to say that blacks are subhuman. Because they knew that when you look at it in terms of mind, body, and soul, with the most athletic people, the people known as soul brothers, Martin Luther King, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, etc., you're gonna look first to black people. And Nigeria is the most populated country in Africa. And these are the most athletic and spiritually intense people, which is what you need for martial arts. Whereas Ethiopians and Somalians, for example, are more uh, kind of hippie-like, kind of lukewarm, Christian sort of community kind of energy. Uh, and this is the continuity of this energy, right? They were never as fierce as Nigerians are. One needs to only look at these people to see that why that's the case. Look at their politicians. It's a good example. A lot of Nigerian politicians are big, intense guys. When you start to analyze the different shapes and figures of Africans, we see that this sort of Shaka Zulu form in its Nigerian spiritual and righteous and loving uh, form is the ideal martial arts form. Okay, And these guys have to have the self-awareness, the natural tendency to emerge, to come out as martial arts competition before it's too late. So we can look at the vast majority of Africans and Islanders as people who simply didn't have the aspirations and the natural uh, tendency to emerge to be in the running before it was too late. Why didn't their bloodline make it to America, for instance? My dad was among the top students, the story goes, the top student in Nigeria at the time. He went to boarding school and so on and so forth. And the CIA basically brought him to America. One way or another, he was destined to leave Nigeria and to emerge in a Western nation, which would place the martial art bloodline where it needed to be to access the technology it would need to access to make a challenge to everybody. This was destiny. Ironically, it is called the Spear of Destiny. And why I am going to stop making videos has to do with the tone that I'm using right now. Quite often my tone is inappropriate and it sounds like I'm on psych meds or something because basically I am. I'm being fumed and drugged intensely. And everyone who knows anything about psychiatry and the political abuse of psychiatry knows that whistleblowers are targeted by psychiatry. I'd go as far as to say one can't truly be a martial artist without being targeted by mental health and the government. They're just simply a bitch who is conforming to Western culture and the Babylonian mysteries, the occult mysteries that are very obviously uh, being uh, communicated by evil people through the entertainment industry, through the news, 
through mental health. It's very obvious. It's very in your face. You just need to take an hour or so to research mental health, and you'll come across countless sources uh, that are valid sources that show definitively that mental health uses occult principles to control behavior. So when you, you look at people and how they behave, they need effective communication, the tone, the martial arts form. Okay, A martial artist in his glory is a superior form than Martin Luther King. Just by me going on stage and doing the hand gestures of a martial artist and not somebody who's been groomed by the West to be a speaker with psychological principles, with principles of psychology, rather, but a martial arts speaker. It obviously puts me a whole lot higher than this guy. He's not a warrior leader. He's not an alpha leader. He's simply a man of the church, a man of the cloth, not a man of marshalling, ordering society effectively. A lot of people can't understand the difference, and there'll be a lot of beta preachers and a lot of white supremacists who would play stupid about it, and a lot of um, Jewish people uh, uh, you know, from Israel and so on, Zionists and these other kind of guys who lead the various liberal movements and communist movements, etc., who would play stupid about it, using their cronies and proxy people and so on and so forth. Okay, so because you can't see me for who I am, you can't hear me in my tone, right? When I say things like, rah, right? I can't even say it like I used to because I'm being chemically castrated. Um, it's like, why bother? One needs only to look at my dad, the size of his head, the size of his body, his intensity, and the fact that he's a brain surgeon to understand, you know, that it is stupid not to see it my way. It is like a bunch of ants are crawling, are going everywhere, and then a leopard emerges, and he's like, boom, in your face, okay? The government didn't miss it. The martial arts societies on, at the highest level didn't miss it. You know, who cares what anyone else has to say? I only need to write my challenge and put it on my front fucking door, and everyone in the highest, on the highest levels of martial arts would know that I made this challenge, okay? They would know where I'm going with it. They keep their eyes on the martial arts bloodline, and then they try to think of ways to mimic, right? Mimicking, mimic king, mocking, also has the word king in it. These are the people that mimic animals. You think they don't mimic the most worthy African warriors? Are you out of your fucking mind? Or no, no, are you really crazy? Do you really not see the message in these pictures? Do I really have to explain to you why fighting is, is a play on words for fatter, right? Fighter, fatter. Fit, who's more fit for the ring, right? A big round person, A round, kidding, A round. If you admit you're kidding around, perhaps it wouldn't uh, be so annoying to me. But when you come off like you're being serious, you know, even if you come with a kind of goofy picture, right, it is rather unfortunate, rather disgraceful. Basically, nobody should take other martial artists seriously because they don't do what it takes to actually be martial artists. They're not coming out as warriors. They're coming out as some kind of artist or something like Leonardo da Vinci. In fact, it was da Vinci that was drawing these pictures. And was he drawing warriors? No. He was drawing these kind of beta male, kind of gender neutral, with all due respect, kind of homosexual Greek guys and, 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 and southern Mediterranean guys where they overlap with these particular cultures. Think about it. Their ideal man was the Nazi who was on drugs, who you know, sabotages and gases and does experiments on other people for the contrast, using occult psychology, or the beta male. There really is no competition. And the pictures really make it clear. Uh, am I racist for pointing this out? No. They're the ones who are trying to sabotage me covertly and have mental health in all kinds of groups. There are countless groups from every race uh, involved in pretending that I'm not the best. And isn't that exactly, isn't, is that not exactly what you would expect? if the top martial artist was to emerge. What you see is exactly what you would expect. Down to my tone, down to my appearance. They're trying to murk, to take away from, the image of, right? To kill the image of, okay? They're trying to vamp, which means to shrink, to reduce. Think about a vampire turning itself into a bat or sucking your blood and what happens to you after they do, okay? They're trying to dwarf me, make me smaller, make me seem less. These are ideas from their occult culture, not mine. The trajectory of gene modification, transhumanism, eugenics, performance-enhancing drug technologies, etc. make it so that it is too late after I die for anyone to be taken seriously 
when they say that they're the top martial artist or that they're some kind of messiah. Everyone knows the new age and them are planning to fool everybody. They just don't consider how far along they are with mind control, reading the brain, and other forms of technology, performance enhancing drugs, performance reducing drugs, etc. What most people don't appreciate is that females have been bred to be receptive to servants. The children of servants are more receptive to servants under these psychological and mental conditions than they are to the children of warriors. People came here as craftsmen. Guild and guilt are connected. They're the guilty. They're the reason why people are sheeple, but people are really wolves in sheep's clothes. And then there's a few sheep somewhere, and it's easy to spot out the lions and the leopards or whatever you want to call it. It's a walk in the park, how they react to these circumstances, how they look, how they behave, what they like to do. I'm pretty much the last one when everything is considered. Um, I think it's uh, very stupid for people not to consider these things and not to consider the communication. The reason why I'm stopping making my videos is they're trying to make me look crazy, gay, less than manly. It's the kind of right-left paradigm that favors white supremacy, tries to make them more combat ready with guns, bigger and stronger. Uh, what kind of nutrition the left eats versus the right. When you consider everything, it's obvious and it goes beyond the ability to afford trainers and gym equipment. You know, there is no semblance of fair play in martial arts anymore. Not while I'm alive and not after I die. Uh, I really had to be so much better and so much more of a warrior than everyone else, so much more manly, in order to put my challenge out there and to be successful. And absolutely it ends with me. And absolutely people, you know, women, women aren't capable of choosing a righteous man because they've been bred to be incapable.